Uh, hi there, <clears throat> this is Mike Sturgis. Uh, this is Module 5, um, Understanding My Community, um, using my school, Esperanza Middle, um, as the uh, subject. Um, our sociological and population inventory, I kind of took a liberty with some of these slides and kind of put some of them together. Um, as sometimes I didn't know the information uh, that was requested or sometimes things uh, were being duplicated so um, I took liberty with some of them and we have uh, a very large population of military personnel we have a large Navy base here um, Pax River um, Pax Naval Air Station um, big Navy Air Base here so we have a pretty diverse community we get people from um, the Brazilian military we get kids from South Korean military, um, Finns, um, kids from Canada, Spain, all over the place. Um, we're primarily um, about 65% Caucasian here, 20% um, African American, and then again, again, 15 and various, like I said, um, quite a bit of uh, Hispanic students from Central and South America there. Overall, we're about 700 students. I kind of give or take 60 uh, 40 ratio there from male to female um, I kind of classify our community into four occupational groups uh, that would be military obviously um, education engineering due to the base um, the military there are a lot of government contracting um, and the service industry our community leaders um, I kind of just took um, two that I kind of know more so um, that would be, uh, first of all, my principal, uh, Ms. Consalvo, as you can see down at the bottom there. Um, the main characteristics of her being a good community leader is she has an open door policy. Um, she works with the teachers, listens with them, works with PTO members, community members. She's very outgoing. Um, she has um, good communication skills, uh, very professional, um, but overall just a, a really good person and, and very inviting. Um, as is Dr. Smith, our superintendent. Um, very inviting person. He's visible, but he's not so much visible in that he wants media attention or um, his visibility is politically driven. Um, he wants to be out there for the students, not for um, being in the newspaper or things like that, at least for him personally. Um, he's a very strong leader. He's firm and fair. Um, and overall, everybody's been uh, really happy with um, Dr. Smith and, of course, very happy with Ms. Consalvo here at my school. Economic conditions, we're primarily a suburban rural community. Um, we've probably gone more towards the suburban over the last 10, 20 years or so. Um, again, that's primarily due to the base and the large military personnel. We have a, a good marine lifestyle here, um, both rec recreationally and economically. Um, due to that, we're a peninsula down here at the southern portion of Maryland um, and that allows for a lot of diverse um, wages or diverse economics in, in regards to wages. Um, little transportation, don't have much here. Um, we only got one cab service, we have one transportation service or public transportation service. Um, they do allow Uber here um, and I have a feeling those things might change or at least they allowed Uber here because we do have um, a pretty booming population here. Um, a lot of housing development and development of industries, whether that be service or clothing or what have you, hotels, etc. Um, unfortunately, we do have a little bit of poverty and homelessness issue. Um, and that is actually um, part of our school, which I will talk about a little bit later. Uh, multicultural issues. Yeah, we're, we're pretty well... Um, uh, addressed in what we have to do multiculturally um, and that goes with um, you know gluten-free menu for our kids um, making sure we're properly um, dressed for school etc I would like that to be a little bit more um, strict but um, so be it um, we allow lawful absences for um, religious holidays things like that we celebrate Black History Month um, we definitely embrace um, diversity here at Esperanza Middle School, and we try to get our kids um, college and career ready uh, by the time they leave 
and head on to high school. And hopefully that continues um, at the high school level. Uh, customs and traditions, like I said, like I just said, college and career ready. C college and career ready. That's the heavy focus on our vision and our mission statements. And we're a very religious community. We have a lot of Catholic schools in the area, um, a lot of Catholic-based um, faith population. Um, Rec and Park, Recreation and Parks is pretty important here. Um, we have a lot of uh, school activities that kids can engage in, drama, basketball, uh, fundraising events, NJHS, National Junior Honor Society, Student Council, things like that. And even for us teachers, um, professional development is, is pretty strenuous here. It's pretty, um, you know, a lot of uh, emphasis is, is, to put, is put on it, um, whether that's you know, extending our capacity of curriculum changes to improve student achievement. Um, professional development is, is always ongoing. Um, communication. We um, have quite a bit of communication here. Uh, Twitter is used a lot by both um, our school personnel and the county um, uh, superintendent and his assistant superintendents and various other principals around the county, etc. The Enterprise is our big newspaper. Oh, well, I wouldn't so call it big, but it's the main newspaper here. Um, we do give out newsletters. Uh, we do have a weekly update phone call from our principal that goes out every Sunday. We have ESOL implemented here as um, English is um, a struggle for some of our foreign students from Guatemala, from Italy, from Brazil, etc. Um, and then Baynet. Baynet is our number one uh, web-based source that is uh, pretty up-to-date and um, probably the most popular choice of communication here um, when looking up news and, and things as such. Um, extra sources of information. Um, Board of Ed meet and meeting minutes are always uh, found on our county website. We have a school directory always available. Budget meetings are open to the public. Um, Board of Ed meetings are, up to the, are open to the public and I believe afterwards or fairly soon afterwards they upload a video of the Board of Ed meetings onto YouTube. Um, we have de detailed school records, excuse me, which were required to um, fill out certain things uh, as they progress through um, their school career. Community groups, lots of community groups involved here at Esperanza. Um, lots of kids um, are involved in Rec and Park. Um, we have a, a very involved PTO. I couldn't find a PTO picture, so I, I just used the PTA. Um, our school resource officer, um, he has implemented the DARE program here. Um, NCAA, or the NAACP um, has done things with our school. Uh, the Civil Air Patrol, um, because we are um, a Navy-based um, society, basically. Um, and uh, we have some after-school programs. Um, to focus on homework and extracurricular activities and social involvement and things like that. And the VFW, as you can see down there, um, has done a lot of things with our school um, in respect to um, looking at American history, respecting the flag, etc. I actually used to uh, work part-time at the VFW um, some years ago as a, as a bartender, but um, never left school. Moving on here. Um, this is one of the ones I took kind of liberty with. Um, our overall society is pretty Republican affiliated. Um, that's a bit of a generalization, but you know, since it's a huge military population here, um, I took some uh, liberty with that as well. We have county commissioners. We have five. Uh, one is the overall leader, and that would be the president. Uh, we have a superintendent in charge of our school system uh, with very assistant, various assistant superintendents. Um, within our school, of course, we have our principal, our building leader. We have three assistant principals. Um, we have PBIS reward system that's implemented. We have, a, like I said earlier, a very involved PTO. We have a well-defined um, school improvement plan, an SIP. Um, and we always take pride in our vision and mission statements each year. Uh, public opinion. Um, just recently, uh, safety has become a major issue. Um, about a week and a half, two weeks ago, we had a shooting, you may have heard, um, it's made national news, unfortunately, at our local high school um, here, Great Mills High School, which is um, just about five minutes away from my high school or from my middle school here, um, where a young lady was um, unfortunately shot and killed, um, as was the shooter. Uh, he um, 
ended up committing suicide after being, um, uh, what, what's the word? Um, geez, I lost the word. Um, school resource officer um, engaged him, and luckily the school resource officer was able to prevent, um, hopefully, um, a lot more lives and prevented um, anything from becoming worse than it already was. Um, but anyway, the superintendent and the county sheriff's office um, have taken drastic steps here recently to increase security uh, both inside the school and, um, and outside on school campuses. Um, we're a highly qualified teacher um, system. Right? Everybody is required to um, take certain classes and get a master's degree within a certain time, and the public is aware of that, and they're um, very appreciative of that. Um, Another concern was dropout rate. Some years ago, I guess about seven, ten years ago, uh, the dropout rate um, was about nine percent. And our former superintendent took some uh, initiative and developed some academies, some pathways um, to focus on those at-risk uh, students. Um, we also have good diversity amongst our curriculum. Um, each high school, we only have three in the county, um, has a certain focus um, for kids and students that want to uh, look at certain things as they move forward in their careers. Um, one is focused on business and finance. One is on um, engineering and math, the STEM program. And then the GIS is more um, foreign language, um, international travel, history, etc. Um, things like that. So, public opinion surveys. Um, kind of due to the economic situation and social issues we have here, um, I would not. Um, Garner to say that that information would come back as clear and precise as, as we perhaps want. That might be um, due to technology. Not everybody has a computer in the county. Not everybody's on the internet. Not everybody has a smartphone. Um, unfortunately, um, there are some parents out there that uh, you know, are not very involved in their, their uh, child's education. Uh, poverty issues um, with homelessness, um, not having a fixed address, um, privacy, um, you know, they don't want to let certain information out, things like that, and, uh, you know, time is always sometimes an issue. Um, amongst teachers here, we often get surveyed about technology, curriculum development, um, textbook, fundraising, sources, um, etc. Um, that's pretty much an ongoing process throughout the year. That's usually done through emails, uh, staff meetings, one-on-one -on -one conversations, um, discussions, things like that. I think that's it. Yep. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.